Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have Michelle Young calling out Brandon and Serene. This isn't clickbait. This is an actual pretty big shots fired as far as I'm concerned. It was pretty interesting to hear her kind of dive into the drama that is sort of uh, fabricated in the Bachelor world. And maybe not fabricated so much as like she's drinking the Kool-Aid. Michelle is officially, officially, officially in Bachelor Nation at this point. Now, she was there before, but she's always been polite. She takes the uh, gloves off and she tells it how it is. Follow me on Instagram at dneals. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. So I'm going to play this clip for you right now. But first, B.O. said you've been whispering in all your video intros since you got married. Am I crazy? And I responded saying, I've just been making videos early in the morning. And then Sarah said, cue the conspiracy music. Dave told Tasha he would give up recapping after they got married. That's why he's whispering. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Tasha doesn't want me to give up recapping. How could I afford all of her shoes? Lisa says, whisper, scraping Dave. So anyway, let's get into it right now. Here's, I'm going to play several clips of this video. Uh, in the 10-minute long video, there's about 55 interruptions. It's brutal. I'm not going to go ahead and blame anyone specifically for it at all, um, but they're all sort of just like talking over each other. It's a complete mess. Let's look. Listen. so confused i feel like so many of these couples that are now linked up on the beach have some sort of history and michelle and i have like touched on it on past mm -hmm. podcasts we've like tried to learn more but we don't quite know like what is the deal like what is the extent of and i'm just gonna name names brandon and serene knowing each other before coming down to the beach michelle we kind of know more about like so okay so we already know michelle and becca clearly are talking about this clearly they have this conversation off air because michelle's like um no you didn't Michelle and romeo and kira but then we also have michael and danielle like I, it seems like there are so many people who know each other and have had conversations maybe they never hung out before but yeah Please lay the groundwork for everyone on happy hour here because we're all confused. Yeah, I, <laughs> I feel like I, I am an arbiter of honesty and I, I like to tell it very straight. I don't really listen. Words. Never trust anybody who ever says they're an arbiter of honesty. Can you imagine you're trying to buy a car and the car dealer's like, listen, this is the best price I can give you. You know, I'm an arbitrator. I'm an arbiter of honesty. You're like, ah, I'm going to go get another opinion there. Uh, no one who says they're an arbiter of honesty. It's like someone who says they're an alpha male. That's a beta male thing to say. You know, you aren't what you okay. Love that about I, you. I, I don't know the extent of the back channel communication. I, I all right, so he says he doesn't really know the extent of it all, but of course that's, you know, I guess that's an, that, that's an, that's an honest arbiter. If you've ever heard one, I can't listen to Casey without hearing Dane cook. I don't know if it's just me. It's not, they sound identical all out there. Mm -hmm. And if people don't have, you know, you might name three people. Oh, I'm interested in this person, this person, this person. And then you're hanging out with Genevieve on a boat. And it's like, no, no, I really like, I really like serene. Look, you're going to try your best to make any connections with the people that are there. That's what the show is. You know, that's what the show is. Well, talking, I think I asked Becca this question as well earlier at a previous episode, but what what is your opinion about people having full conversations? By the way, we have breaking news. We actually have uh, Michelle was able to get a word in on the podcast that she's a co-host for before they get to the beach or having conversations. If someone, you know, a couple were to have a conversation about like, you're my person, we are meeting up, right? Because it, Bachelor World is a small family. Once you're in it, it's weird. Everybody and there's, kisses there's each other. There's no way Everybody around knows like, each other. not talking to somebody at some point. Like everyone's DMing right? like when the seasons yeah. are going on. Like right? there's no way around that part. And there's no way around not interrupting each other, but here we are. All right, I'm just giving them a hard time. It's hard. They're doing these video things. There's a lag. Give them some grace. Not going to cross that line. And, and that's hard, too. And I totally get that, Casey. And I do respect, like, you do want to buy into the process. And, like, honestly, as a person watching it, even with with all this and viewers at home, we want to see love stories. Like, we want to see these stories. Not they, By the way, they've gone an, an official 10 seconds now without anybody interrupting. There has to be an interruption around the corner. And I know you're like, Dave, but you're interrupting them. Yeah, this is the ruse. Only, like, these relationships, like, flourish. But we want to see them work and be successful when yeah. they're outside of this. We don't want it to be temporary, right? But also, and I'll if, throw something. Sorry, I didn't mean you to know, interrupt you. But like, I, I, I just want to throw something out there, though, that people don't realize. is Some people are right? doing these back channel things to try to assure their spot on paradise and, well and, and that's they where want, they want people listing true. as many people as they can like saying oh i'm interested in this person so that way they're a hot commodity on the beach exactly. so there's str there's strategy to this for sure but i would say my biggest issue my biggest issue is 
when people have these conversations to make game plans, then come down to the beach and then portray to the world as if they don't know a single thing about each other. That's where I get issue with it. Okay, so she's got an okay, okay, fair, fair, fair issue. Michelle has an issue with the people that plan before. It's not a problem that everyone knows each other. It's that they plan before. And I know anybody who's criticizing me for criticizing their interruptions, I get these comments all the time. Flo said, Dave, by the time you finish interrupting these and other videos, I've completely lost what these videos were even about. <laughs> Listen, Flo, I've lost what life is all about, okay? I don't know what's going on. I just wake up and I do this, okay? She said, just wish you had a little more self-control, but won't hold my breath. And I said, don't let me stop you from holding your breath and that's that, that is a you know very quiet uh fun veiled um threat to her uh, to hold her breath until she passes out and stops commenting okay we're all good here we're friends all uh, right anyway but i wanted to i wanted to share some moments where people are just screaming at each other you call it I think that here's this just is a, a Fox News is good at just pe yelling. How many people finish once? No, we're finishing. Michelle wants to talk about it. It's just non stop, that type of thing there. But oh, it's not just Fox News, it's the View, too. 70% of the country. <laughs> yelling. Yeah, yeah. The wall, uh, fear, fentanyl, the border. You know, it's just non stop. Okay, anyway, back, back to here we go. I just wanted to share uh, the chaos. Because it's just like, okay, who are you fooling now? Like, just be honest, right? Like, it's okay to have interest. Honestly, it's okay to have conversations, like you said, to a certain uh, extent. So Michelle says, just be honest. Listen, if they were all honest, the show wouldn't be interesting, okay? They go onto the beach, they do this sort of theater, this performance arts, where they're like, hi, I'm Brandon, nice to meet you. Your name is Serene? Hi, how are you? Ah, and they kiss each other. No, they scoured each other's Instagrams. They've DM'd a couple times. The, 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 the Brandon and Serene is a victimless crime, right? Um, Brendan Moraes strung along Natasha waiting for Piper to show up that that crime had a victim but obviously it's like you know what what you know not not the biggest problem in the world but clearly not, not, not as not as fine as Serene and Brandon both showing up to the beach and they probably said look none of the funny business get us down to the beach and let us fall in love but it's hard when people you know when you're acting and you're putting on a face that and being dishonest about it and trying to, you know, almost like pull one over on the audience. Or okay, wait. Whoever. So then, Michelle, let you me talk. ask you this. No. Who from <laughs> this season. No, no, no. If we're going to talk about this, who from this season. All right. Becca throwing Michelle under the bus because she knows the answer. Is kind of rubbing you in that way. See, okay. I'm going to preface. Okay. I'm going to preface this by saying I truly, I truly, truly love Brandon and Serene together. We got tea showing up. Bring the they tea are, in. They are my number one couple. They are the couple that I think is going to Well, the they're, like, they're like the, the they're Joe the and couple. Serena of last year. They are, yeah. Like, they are the couple that is, they're the real couple. Like, they are the couple that, honestly, when I'm watching them on the screen, they like are, they're gonna get engaged. they love each other. They're going to get engaged, but after this, like, they're going to make it through whatever. <laughs> they're going to bang. Let me tell you something. Once they're done banging, they're going to probably get pregnant, and then they're going to get ultrasounds, and they're going to paint the room a gender neutral color because it's 2022. They're going to go, and they're just going to list all. And the kid's going to have Sally Mae's student loan debt. You know, uh, uh, Don Trump Jr. is going to be on his third term as dictator. Listen, 2020, 2045 is going to be lit shit storm comes and like i feel like if any couple were to do that that'd be them are we is this the best of 22 video as you know the haters are gonna be like michelle's <laughs> jealous no like brandon and i didn't work out for a reason nate and i didn't work out and i'm happy that way that it didn't work i like that michelle is jealous because you know the haters are gonna be like michelle's <laughs> jealous no like brandon and i didn't work out for a reason nate and i didn't work out but the question is does michelle have that have swag like this this swag. Girl, she don't know. And I'm happy that way that it didn't work out. Like my, just cause it didn't work, work out with Nate doesn't mean that my person was somebody from my season. Okay. But, but what I will say is it is hard to watch knowing things that I have heard back when I was in a relationship of the depth of this until I come down and watch people what do you do? You know, like, that's kind of like... It oh, she said it's hard to watch. Yeah, this is a real uh, hard to watch based on things Michelle knows. So, I, there we have it. The truth in plain sight. Michelle knows what Brandon and Serene did this summer. I've heard that my person was somebody from my season. 
Okay. But, but what I will say is it is hard to watch knowing things that I have heard back when I was in a relationship. Okay, so obviously Brandon, Brandon is boys with Nate, who is Michelle's ex. So, oh, is this one of those, like, is she sharing, um, is this information that she's sharing but not sharing from, from like, the secret files of, uh, rela of rela is she breaking relationship code? Of the depth of this and to, like, come down and watch people what do you do? You know, like, that's kind of like, it, it's more just like, let's be honest. Like, let's tell the real genuine story because you are genuine raw people and you, they're great people. So, I mean, listen, Becca and Michelle were both leads. What was everything you did on your season genuine and authentic? You don't have B-roll of you walking down the beach pondering when all you were really thinking of is what they're going to serve for lunch. It's fabricated. Not all of it is real. You have to set up exposition. We, this is where we need Game of Roses here. Um, Game of Roses here to help us out. Oh, I'm wearing their shirt because they they're good at they're good as writers at setting up exposition. Sure, Brandon and Serene probably already knew where each other were from, but the audience doesn't. So just say, "Oh, nice to meet you." Oh, you like pineapples me too we already knew they liked pineapples you know what i mean just like play it out so then let's well, just let's be honest well, across so, the board so then let uh -oh. me play devil's advocate here and like take it to another couple danielle and um michael okay we're gonna cover danielle and michael in the next video because we also have another video oh boy you know i like this from chicks in the office how michael knew danielle was coming to the beach. That's right, folks. Lots to get into here. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with uh, taking a backseat? You never know if you don't know. You never know if you don't grow. Hey, now, it's a Friday. Let's get into it. One more video coming your way. I'll be live right after this at 10 a.m. Pacific time um, on Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal if you want to go live on the behind-the-scenes live stream as we uh, d d d talk more about these videos in further farther depth. Boy, I really stumbled to the finish line. I'm still going to nominate this as the best of 2022. We'll talk to you in a bit. Bye, guys.